log entry for me. I did a 10 miler. I didn't record any of it because I wanted to focus on the run and plus I was out running with my uh, running buddy Ed who's also a member of Runspire. I haven't really talked much about Runspire. Maybe I'll do a video on that soon. Um, yeah, he'd done a, a 100k for charity last um, Sunday so we went out for a, like a casual little 10 mile stroll which is on my training plan. He was meant to be resting but you know, it's like when you get this, you, can you see the hair? Like, look at the hair, the hair is getting out of control. It's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I got my new headband on. I ran out with my other one, and I'll tell you about it later on, because uh, it's my autism awareness one that my friend Rosie um, put me on to. I'm really happy I got two today. So I'll be running with them more often. Um, so yeah, I, the week's been all right, to be fair. Um, I had a good 5K Monday and stride session. And in the like, partial snow, I did a track session around the park and just did loops around there. Oh, that was fun. So yeah, and I did another four miler on Thursday. Did a bit of strength training on the Friday. I had a rest day Saturday and done the 10 miles a day. So it's not been uh, too bad a day. Oh, and um, my wife bought me Sacconi's, I want to say speed, is it speed? I think it is. No, Sacconi endorphin speed, sorry. And yeah, I wore them on Thursday for the first time since Christmas because I haven't used them. It's supposed to be a race day shoe, but I'm probably going to buy a carbon fiber one at some point and use them as an all day. I don't, I'm not really sure yet, but um, yeah, they were great. They felt like they were pushing me up the hills and, you know, and uh, they're really comfortable. So I'm really impressed with those trainers. I'm tempted to give the Reebok float flights a go at some point. I'm going to buy them as an everyday running shoe because I've seen good stuff about them on there as well. But um, yeah, it's been a okay run today. Nice chat with Ed. We just talk about running most of the time. Um, yeah, we couldn't do the coastal run, which is what I wanted to do when he messaged me saying, do you want to go for a run? I think we're doing one next Sunday as well, maybe? Yeah, training's gone well. I feel faster. I've, I've hit a few uh, segment PBs as well when we're on the run. I didn't even notice we're doing it. So uh, the second time, uh, second fastest 5K. And we weren't really, I wouldn't say we were pushing it. I mean, I walked up a couple of hills and gently jogged because, you know, he's his legs are amazing compared to mine. I can't keep I can't keep up with him if he goes full pace, but luckily he stays slow with me. It's nice like that. Yeah, so we were meant to um go on a coaster run because when Ed messaged me asking me if we wanted to go run together, um I wanted to take him on the coaster run because I as you know from previous videos I love that coaster run. But it was a bit windy, we didn't know how bad it was gonna be and we got near the coast and it was windy as and I said to Ed when we were running through I was like glad we didn't go that way because it would have been dangerous so um yeah I had to park sensible heads on and um think of our safety so yeah but the run was pretty good I we made it up I remember I said we I said I, I made it up on the fly on Strava underestimated how heavy it was missed one of the turns I think I planned originally but it, it turned out to be a killer of a hill but I did all right. I, I get more better at doing hills now. I'm getting more stronger before I just give up and be like, oh, hill and stop. But I'm starting to find my rhythm with um, um, hills. All in all, it's been a good week. Mentally, it's been a bit draining, you know, with the whole lockdown thing and stuff. But it was good to catch up with Ed and have a good chat with him. Make me feel a bit better. I always feel better after I chat, catch up with Ed while running. Um, yeah, so. Let me down. Let me know down below what you think, uh, what you'd like me to talk about, if anything. Or, and um, I'll post some pictures at the end of this, actually. Of, well, obviously a selfie, me and Ned, because he doesn't take selfies out running, right? And um, I'll post a po picture of the actual run, uh, the Strava thing with Bob. You know what I mean? Let me know if it's something you want to see more often. I'll put them on the end if you like, if you want to see those sort of things. And um, let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.